Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take on Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take on Tottenham. And we are back with another transfer video um, in regards to Harry Kane predominantly. Um, so as you'll see, yesterday he didn't show up for training, was supposed to, but didn't. Um, almost like a form of strike, I don't know if you want to call it. I, I, I think the best way to call it is venting his frustration um, against... Uh, Daniel Levy and, and almost going back on this um, gentleman's agreement that they had. Um, day two should have probably shown up for training again today and he has not. He has not shown up for training for the second day uh, in a row <sighs> and it just doesn't look good. It, it really doesn't make Harry Kane look good and I'm not trying to be that Spurs fan who goes, oh well he should stay at the club. <laughs> you know, he's... <sighs> look, any team who's got Harry Kane in, would want him to stay at the club, of course. He's one of the best strikers in the world. Um, you only have to look at his what he got last season. He got the golden boot and the whatever the golden assist thing is. He got the most assists and the most goals in the Premier League. That player is invaluable to any team. Put them in any club, any team. No one would want that player to leave. But it really doesn't make Harry Kane look very good. It And... and as I said in a previous video, Spurs fans, we all love him. He's a Spurs fan. He's come up through the academy. You know, he bleeds the colours of the club. You know, and, you know, he's a vice captain and he's the captain of England. Like, we all love him. But right now, he's not covering himself in glory. And I just think that there's better ways of going about it. Yeah, I get it. You want to leave the club. But come in, do your training, do your job, and then go and talk to Daniel Levy. Have an extensive meeting with Daniel Levy where you hash out this issue that there's obviously there with this gentleman's agreement. Now, look, again, there's two sides. Daniel Levy could look at it and go, you've got three years left on your contract. I know we had that gentleman's agreement, but you've got three years, and unless someone's willing to come in and pay absolute ridiculous money, you'll be staying here. And probably, if we, if we look at it logically... Logically, if Harry Kane was to go based on a transfer based on his contract, he's probably going to be going in with the last year because they wouldn't want to lose him on, on a free, would they? They wouldn't want to. They wouldn't want to. Um, it'd be too much of a risk. Obviously, then you risk as well losing him for a lot less of value, where they could get a hundred million, hundred fifty, hundred sixty million, whatever. Now. If he's got one more year on his contract, Man City most probably would then come in and go, right, here's 60 million because he's got one year left. And if you, if, if you don't accept that now, we'll just snap him, snap him up on a free next season. And you kind of leave yourself open then. Um, sort of similar to how Christian Eriksen, somehow they we managed to get money out of Inter for him, even though he had six months left on his contract. You, you stand to lose a player at a considerably less value than what they should have gone for, realistically. Um, and obviously with Harry Kane, as I've just stated, golden boot, most assists, you've got to pay over £100 million for that. Now, Man City have officially bid £100 million. This was a couple of weeks ago. Spurs turned it down because they value him a lot higher than that. And Man City apparently aren't prepared to pay higher than that. Be interested to see how that goes. Um, I also believe there's another side to it where it goes... Daniel Levy should come... I reckon he should just come to Kane and say, right, I respect your wishes to leave and I will grant you that wish if Man City come in with a bid of, let's just say, the asking price of £160 million. If they don't come in, then you have to stay. And I'm really sorry that's the way it is, but we are not going to get screwed financially by this. They think they can just offer £100 million. Don't get me wrong, I have my own opinions on one player being worth £100 million, but that's a whole different scenario. But let's just say... We will let you leave if Man City come in and do the correct thing, which is bid the amount that we're asking for. We're not going to settle for anything lower than this price. And even if they come at a price that's higher, we're still not going to accept it. If they come in, we'll let you go. But if not, sorry, you have to stay. And I think that would be a more viable thing, but it kind of just comes across now that Daniel Levy's obviously sort of said to Kane, or if they have even spoke, has basically come out and gone, no, sorry, you're not. We're not saying you're a hill this year. Like I know we said that thing, but no, you're not for sale. No, 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 no. And in a way, I do kind of respect that, but I just think I personally think the best scenario here would be right. We'll let you go for this much, but if no one comes in, 
you say. That's as simple as that. That way you've kind of easing Kane's mind in the fact that he's not tied down to Spurs, that there is a chance that he could go. And it really actually puts the ball in Manchester City's court then. They have to then cough up for him. Will they do that if they spend £100 million on Grealish? Who knows? Um, but I think that would personally be the best scenario for everyone. Um, is it going that way? Of course it's not. Daniel Levy's dug his heels in. Harry Kane's now not turning up to training. And it's all a massive mess. Um, as reported, though, uh, by Fabrizio Romano, um, Harry Kane will be returning for training, or should be returning for training at the weekend. He's not going to be showing up uh, Thursday or Friday. I think they said it'll be more of a weekend thing. Um, but I think that's almost the saying that just so we're not coming out with breaking news stories. Wednesday, Harry Kane's not showing up for training. Thursday, Harry Kane... No, if you say that he's not going to be there till the weekend, then you kind of curb all those news stories, which is, you know, which is good. So um, that's where the state of... That's what the state of play is at the minute. Um, so we're not really going to be expected to see him until the weekend. I just think he needs to come in and have a chat. I, I, I just think handling it this way, Harry, is it's not a good way. And I know you're probably not watching, but it's just not a good way to, to do this. Just come in, do your training, do your job, and have meetings with Daniel Levy. Just come and do your training. At the end of the day, regardless if you're training or, or whatever, you, you, you're keeping up with your match fitness going into the new season. Don't... I'm, I'm sure he's not sat at home, you know, with his feet up sort of thing, but don't regardless of what club you're at don't screw yourself over by doing this you, you're giving yourself a bad look anyway but just come in and do the training Get your, you know, keep your fitness levels up for the new season I know Nuno's been doing some really hard training sessions as well with, with the squad so you know, come in, do your job go and talk to Daniel and then you know, crack on with it and just, just keep that level of professionalism which we've seen you have you have that. We, it's not like a thing where we've gone, oh yeah, he's had a bit of a up and down pass. We've seen you have that professionalism all throughout your career at Spurs. Just, just come on. Let's, let's not tarnish your entire legacy and all this time with this mess that we've got right now. Just come in, do the job. And if, look, I respect that your wishes to leave. I've said that in my previous video, but just don't go about it this way. Just let's do things a bit more constructive, a bit more professional. And like I said, it's the only—it's just not going to look good on him if he keeps doing this. Um, I get why, but there's just different ways to go about it, in my opinion. Um, so we'll see what happens in, at the weekend. But as of right now, I don't think anything else is really going to be happening. He's not showing up today, and we know he's not going to be showing up to the weekend. That's it. We have to go from there. Um, in other news, just before I get the video out of the way, Christian Romero looks set to be done, finally. Um, yeah, uh, it's he really wants to join Spurs. Um, everyone needs to chill out about Barcelona. Barcelona, are no, they're, first of all, they're not even interested. Second of all, they're in no position to be signing players, really. They can't even get the players that they've already signed registered because of their financial mess. So don't worry about that. And then thirdly... He wants to join Spurs. He just wants to join Spurs. Uh, and Atalanta have finally signed their replacement for him. So uh, it should be a €50 million Euro, um, deal, which is about £42.5 million, I think, pounds. Um, don't know how Spurs have managed to get that because I think Atalanta were actually set at uh, £55 million they wanted, I think. So Spurs are doing a really good deal there. Christian Romero, one of the best defenders in Serie A last season. Really good sign if they can just get it over the line. I will do an official video when it's all done. Um, but it looks set to be completed. It's in the very final stages. Hopefully in the next couple of hours or a couple of days, it will just get all sorted and done. Um, personal terms have also been agreed as well. So um, that's really good. That's an amazing signing. And again, what I was sort of saying in the, in the, in the video earlier is if you are going to convince Harry Kane to stay, and I know that's a massive ask, I, I really have a degree of optimism, again, maybe deluded optimism, but it's a degree of optimism about this season in regards to Nuno, new different coach, it's a whole different outlook to Mourinho. Um, the signings that we're bringing in, I th I think is something to be optimistic about. They, they need to show up the defence and they've got one of the best from Syria. I think that's a really good move. We could be getting uh, Tamiyasu as well. Um I would love to see us get screen out. I just can't see it happening, but I just think there's an opportunity there. Hopefully, if we could, that would be amazing. I just don't see it happening at all. 
Um, you know, we've got uh, Brian Hill as well. He's come in recently. They're getting a lot of Deadwood, Deadwood out of the club as well, which is what we've been needing for a long time. Um, Hume Min Son has signed a new contract as well. Um, we've got Galini in as well, a new really promising great keeper from Atalanta as well. Um, I just think there's a, a, a number of optimistic things that would be maybe able to convince Kane. Don't get me wrong. He's going to go, I don't want to play the Europa Conference League. I want to be in the Champions League with Manchester City who win titles. And I get that. And I get that's better than just pure optimism. But I just think that, that I think there's more of a thing to advertise to stay than when we were under Mourinho with like the defence that we had of Eric Dyer and Sanchez. Mourinho's obviously sort of quite negative football that we were playing. Um, obviously, it benefited Kane with the goals and the assists, but um, that he got. But it, it's I think there's more more to stay for under Nuno and the transfers that we're bringing in than say if we kept Mourinho now and we weren't making any changes in the window really. Um, but that's just me trying to be an optimist. I don't believe you know that will be enough, but we will see what happens in the next coming days. But um, yeah, hopefully Christian Romero set to join Spurs in the next couple of days. It will be a massive, massive signing and an absolute pivotal to strengthen up that defence, which we so desperately needed last season. So let me know what you think about the Kane situation. Do you think my my suggestion was maybe a right thing of getting him to come in and and, and getting him and Daniel to meet and, and say, right, if the right bid comes in, fine, we'll let you move. But if not, you stay. Basically, if they want you, they have to pay up for you. I think that's probably the most, you know, he knows he can go. Man City know where they stand and we'll go from there. Don't know. We'll see what happens. There won't be a dual transfer window, as always, with Tottenham Hotspur. But um, if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And Christian Romero, what do you think about him as well? Uh, I'm really excited about that one. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, come on you Spurs.